Okay. Hi. Ha. Okay, today I want to share with you something that is very close to my heart. Being creative has become the new big thing. Everybody wants to create videos, take photos, write articles, and that's incredible. It's certainly what I love doing, and I wouldn't choose to do anything else. But there's this other side to the equation that I feel like we don't always realize or talk about it. The financial and business side. As we dive into the creative world, we like to think of ourselves as creative first and foremost. And a lot of the time we start ignoring all the other aspects of a career. Obviously, this doesn't apply to everybody, but there is a large number of people that want to live out of their creativity and be independent, which means running a freelance career or a business. But for that to be successful, you have to be more than just creative. To become a great freelancer or to build a business, the creative part is one of many, and you need to have the remaining pieces to make this work. You need to understand the business aspect, be able to communicate with people, find clients, understand your finances. Just being a great photographer won't take you far if you can't turn your network into clients and charge them appropriately for your work. It takes educating yourself, reading books, taking the time to put the business in order. All this to say that knowing how to use a spreadsheet is as important as Photoshop. And yes, you could technically hire someone to take care of that aspect of the business for you, but that this means that you're passing a huge part of your business to someone else to take care of. You need to at least understand these things before passing on to someone, because otherwise, if they ever leave, you're out of a business. I'm here to tell you this because I know so many incredible creatives that just can't make a living out of their craft because this huge part of the equation is missing. And if you feel like maybe you relate to this in any way, here's what I would suggest you to do to get started. Open a Google Drive, make a folder. Let's call it financials. In this folder, keep your invoices, a spreadsheet on your income and one on your expenses. You have to be able to track these things to make sure your business is being profitable. Profitable, profitable, profitable. Personally, I usually do this once a month. So at the end of every month, I run through all my expenses and all my income and I put them in a spreadsheet and then I can see comparing to last month or a year before um, how my business is doing. And you can place a document there as well with your financial goals. Those are important as well. Now create an email template for reaching out to clients. Depending on the different skills that you have, I'll have a different template for each one of those skills in case you're reaching out to different types of clients. For example, I have one as a videographer, one as a video editor, a DP, social media editor, but remember, this is a template, meaning you need to adapt the email to every potential client you're contacting. Now gather your work, nothing fancy. All you need is a page with examples of the best work you have. This could be a website, a PDF, even seeing side Instagrams that people created as a way to cater their work. Now you attach that piece of work to your email template. Great, you have taken your first step. Now read a few books, listen to some business podcasts and learn as you go. There is no easy way around this. It takes a lot of learning and as you do it, you adapt this to your business. It's crucial that you don't forget to take care of your business. Write down all the expenses, make sure you properly structure your emails and communicate with your clients and with your team. I understand that this video can be a little abstract and the starting point for every person can be different. If someone has any kind of knowledge, they already need to put in practice is one thing. If you don't know anything and you wanna get into it, it's a completely different thing. There is unlimited amount of roots that you can get. And this is part of the creative work. You know, if you want to become a doctor, there is a very straightforward path that you follow to get there. Now, if you want to become a film director or a videographer, you have to learn as you go and you have to be able to adapt and find your path and make those decisions along the way. The most important thing is to take action and move forward. I hope this was useful in any way. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll try and address them all. Uh, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. We make videos here every Monday, so subscribe for that. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.